Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, we are going to study geography, paper two. The topic is forestry in the world. Reason is for rapid destruction of tropical rainforests. There is increased demand for fuel wood and charcoal. The increasing population encroach on forest area for agricultural land. Mining and quarrying destroy forest cover. Creation and extension of urban centers. Construction of transport routes such as railway roads destroy forests. Poor government policies such as failure to prevent destruction of forests. Destruction of forests by pests and diseases. Political instability. Improved technology for exploitation of forestry industry. High demand for forest products such as herbs, fruits, roots, lead to rapid clearance of forests. Wild or bushfire. Destruction by wild animals such as elephants. Effects of deforestation on the environment. Climate change, for example, decline in rainfall. Removal of vegetation results in two soil erosion. Rapid loss of soil fertility due to loss of humus, which affects crop production. Leads to citation of river channels due to extensive runoff. It increases global warming due to loss of carbon absorbers. Loss of valuable tree species for medicine, timber, and so on. Destruction of natural habitats for the animals leading to the immigration. Shortage of wood for fuel, charcoal, leading to energy crisis. Causes reduction in government revenue and foreign exchange. Displacement of communities which depend much on forests for their livelihood. Leads to unemployment, Flooding of rivers destroy lives and property. It contributes to landslides and its negative effects. It leads to lack of windbreakers. It leads to loss of touristy attraction. Measures being taken to combat deforestation. Afforestation, reafforestation, controlled exploitation of forestry resources, uses of alternative sources of energy such as electricity, solar energy, biogas, and so on, educating the public on the values of forests. Training official forest workers on efficientization of forests. Encourage agroforestry. Call out research in forestry. Temperate coniferous forests. The temperate coniferous forests are forests located between 45 to 70 
degrees north of the equator. Major species include Douglas fir, spruce, western hemlock, and so on. They yield soft woods. They are located in Canada, or British Columbia, Finland, Sweden, Norway, and so on. Characteristics of temperate coniferous forests. They exist in pure stands. They are predominantly soft wood. For example, spruce, pine, hemlock, and so on. They are evergreen throughout the year. They have needle-shaped leaves to reduce transpiration. The barks and the leaves are covered by wax. Trees have thin, tall, straight stems. Trees have conical shapes. Trees mature in short period. Trees produce cones instead of roots. Trees produce light wood. Trees lack prominent undergrowth. Trees have thin, shallow lateral roots. Factors that favored development of temperate coniferous forests. Favorable climate of and high rainfall. Poor soils that discourage agriculture but favor growth of trees. Lagged train landscape that discourage settlement but favor growth of trees. Existence of rivers that are used for transportation of logs to the sawmills and factories at relatively cheaper cost. Presence of reliable electricity to facilitate exploitation of forests. Presence of pure water for soaking and bleaching of pulp. Presence of variety of valuable tree species such as western hemlock, pine and so on. Presence of vacant land for growth of forests. Snow during winter facilitates is the transport of logs. Modern technology such as use of tractor, chainsaws, promote cutting, loading and transportation of logs. With the local and foreign market for timbers, pulp and newsprint. Availability of skilled labor force to handle forestry products. Availability of local and foreign capital to invest in the forestry industry. Presence of well-developed transport network by roads, railways for transportation of logs and timber products. Political stability that encourages longer-term investment in the forestry industry. Favorable government policy which emphasizes afforestation, reforestation, and so on. Extensive research to develop the forestry industry. For example, fast growing trees. Positive contributions of forestry to the country. Source of foreign exchange from export of wood, medicinal products such as quinine from Congo Basin. Source of government revenue from taxes on forestry industry. Source of fuel, firewood and charcoal. Source of food, all fruits. 
provision of employment from cutting, loading, and transportation of trees or logs. Forestry has encouraged development of social services such as roads, railway networks, hydroelectricity, and so on. Forestry stimulates development of urban centers. Forests favor rainfall in an area. Forests support wildlife that attracts foreign exchange from tourists. Trees provide raw materials such as poor timber in the construction industry. Source of medicinal products such as quinine for malaria. Forests attract investment. Negative contributions of forests. Forests hinder development of transport routes. Forests support wild animals and vectors. Accidents occur during cutting and fading of trees. Timber processing industries cause environmental pollution. Forestry lead to development of urban areas and its negative consequences such as poor hygiene, congestion, and proliferation of crime.